Hola, bonsoir and bonjour. Thanks for coming back for another video. All right, so what's going on you guys? Good morning and hello. It is about 6.20 in the morning right now. And this girl is heading off to her first shift of the week. It's Sunday the 28th. Yeah, Sunday the 28th. So I work, that's the 29th today. Oh my God, it's almost New Year's Eve. So I work the next three days, including New Year's Eve. And I thought I would take you guys with me for my three days of work the whole week. Um, I am taking my camera. This is recording off of my iPhone. So I hope the quality is not too bad. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is gonna help a lot of nursing students, future nurses, aspiring nurses, all of y'all out there that wanna get into the medical field in general. I hope this video is super informative and really helps you kind of make the decision on what you really wanna do or if you really wanna do the emergency room if you are for sure certain that nursing is for you. This is a day in the life of an ER nurse. I should have did, I, and next, I'll probably do how I wake up and everything the next day. I just, I just, uh, today I, I'm in a rush. Let's go. As you can see by the ambulance bay behind me, I just got to work. So I'm going to head inside, clock in, get report, and we'll do the rest of my day from there. Let's go. So it's the beginning of my shift. And the first thing I do is get report from the night shift nurse. I get report on all of my patients, updates, what needs to be done, and I get a phone. A phone, which you'll later on see, is the phone from hell. So at the beginning of every shift, um, I stock my IV cart. That way I'm not missing anything. I can just grab the whole cart, take it into my patient's room and get started. So here we have everything I need for blood draws, lines, um, all that good stuff. And I'll get started now. officially wake up until I have my coffee. Heading to the cafeteria now, going to make um, energy in a cup <laughs> so I can start my day. It's now eight o'clock and we have a long way to go. I don't know if I'll record all throughout the day because I, it does get pretty busy, but we'll see. So um, two of my patients today are on maintenance fluids. So their bags are about to be done and I don't want to be like going dry so I'm gonna grab my saline now and fill these bags up When I first started my shift today, I was feeling a little bit congested, slightly kind of like all up in here. Ugh, if my hands are ashy, it's because we wash our hands 10,000 times in the shift. But now I'm going to be rocking my mask for the rest of it because there's people coughing and pretty sick today and I don't want what they got. As my day goes on, I go and grab sandwiches for my diabetics sandwiches and juices and drinks for people who are being discharged and there's a running joke 
for every ER you go to that these are life-saving turkey sandwiches. So it is about, oh my God, this phone. It's about 11.30, I'm gonna check um, my blood sugars on people who are still down here who are waiting on beds. Um, check their sugar before they eat. Yeah, this is, this is the devil. <laughs> So with most labs, there's always something where they're like, we can't do this unless you do that. So I'm running down to the lab right now to go get something done and then I'll be back up to the other. a little break to get away and get a little bit of sunshine because I can right now um, all my patients are stable and fine and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the frustrations that we face in the ER so um, we have to collect specimens lab and urines and all of that and I did I collected my urine sample and sent it off and literally 10 minutes after sending it the lab calls me and says hey you sent the urine and it spilled everywhere. You have to recollect it. Mind you now, my patient is no longer here. They are in a procedure, so they're gone. And now I have to wait for them to get back to collect that sample. And I know for a fact, I tightened the lid on my sample really tight before I sent it off. So I'm asking like, how the heck, how the heck, <laughs> how the heck did it spill everywhere? But you know, they don't care because they don't have, they're not the ones that have, that have to recollect it. We do, so. Story of my life. Just wanted to tell you guys the uh, frustrations. That's that's like the one of the few frustrations that we face. So as you can see by the empty stretcher, I just came from taking a patient upstairs. I have another one to take up. Right now, I am pulling out an amp of B50. I have a blood sugar that is pretty low. It's at 47, so for that we give D50 to bring it back up. And I'm going to give that now. And of course, the devil. This thing is ringing all day long. <laughs> along, with, along with the amp of D50, my patient is going to be getting a grip. This is a D10. It's basically sugar in a bag to bring that blood sugar up. Finally, I am now going to take my lunch break and enjoy it and then go back. It's like almost it's 3.20 now. All right, so I've been back from my lunch for about an hour now. I uh, had to go straight back into work because I got two new patients, so I had to jump right back in. Um, right now, I'm doing a couple new blood draws on these new people. Uh, both are going to be admitted and going upstairs so we try to get as much stuff done here in the ER before they go up and you know, that's it my it's 5 30 now almost 6 my day is almost over <laughs> all right let's do this all right so I have about an hour and a half before I get off work I have a patient right now who has a chest tube in and she keeps getting up out of the bed doing her own damn thing and it's really getting on my damn nerves because um, I don't want that chest tube to come out. So right now I'm in here looking for some tape and gauze and everything and I'm gonna really dress it really good and put it on there really secure because I'm afraid she is going to pull it out. And we don't want that. We do not want that. Her uh, pneumo is only getting worse from yesterday because she has done so much movement and I almost feel like I have failed as a nurse because the pneumo hasn't resolved completely. But it's not my fault, it's hers. And I just let her know that. So we're going to get some new supplies from here and rewrap it all up. And hopefully by 7.30 it's still in place and she could be somebody else's problem. Okay, so coming up on the end of my shift here, it's 18.45. 6:45 p.m. I'm gonna give my Lovenox injection 
to my patient and I think I got one more lab draw to do before night shift comes on and it's time to give report and get out of here. All right, it is now eight o'clock on the dot and I am finally um, finishing my shift. I just took my last patient upstairs, getting ready to go have dinner with babe. And I will see you guys in the morning for day two. Hello you guys and good morning. Today is the second shift. And as much as I would love to record another video, I just don't feel that great at all. So I'm gonna end it here. So I'm going to end here. And the next time you see me, I'll be doing a video of how I get ready in the mornings. And that is all. See you in the next one.